Yesterday, a member of our community posted inside the group that the Project Estimator Airtable base that I created has helped him raise his prices by at least 50% per project, which is honestly pretty amazing. I honestly do a pretty terrible job of promoting the products that I create. I guess I just don't want to be pushy. But if this product can help you raise your prices by 50% or more like it has for me or for Austin, then it's actually kind of crappy for me to not talk about it. So what is the Project Estimator tool? It's an Airtable base I created with a bunch of options and calculations to help you estimate your website projects. After you go in and dial in a few prices, you can be estimating entire projects in 10 minutes or less. And if you're anything like me, you might spend days trying to estimate projects only to end up going with your gut. I guessed wrong so many times that I had to create some kind of calculator to help me stay profitable and get estimates out the door quicker. And that's exactly what the Project Estimator does. Instead of telling you more about it, I'm just gonna show you. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and share the entire instructional video that goes out after purchase so you can get a clear look at exactly how everything works and see if this is a good fit for you and your agency. The Project Estimator base does come bundled as a package with five of my other favorite Airtable bases, which you can find a link to down in the description below. All of these work off the free version of Airtable so you won't have to spend any extra money on software. All right, that's enough talking. Let's go ahead and take a look at how the Project Estimator works. In this video, we're gonna be taking a look at the Project Estimator base. Now this base was probably one that I spent more time on than anything else. It gets kind of complex, but it does help quite a bit. Now I'm not suggesting you go in here, plug in a few things, and this will automatically price your projects profitably for you. In fact, that couldn't be further from the truth. But if you do spend a little bit of time going here and customizing all of your pricing that's available inside here, it can work as a great guide as you price projects. I found that sometimes I look at a project and I'm not sure if it should be $5,000 or $10,000. What's nice about this is it can help me get into the right ballpark for a project based on the prices that I'm already charging. So let's take a look at how it works. Inside here, we have quite a few different tables. This first one is the project estimator, and this is the table that you're gonna to use to actually price out the projects. We're gonna come back to this in a minute because before you get to that, you really need to spend some time with the pricing. So we have several different tables in here that you're gonna to wanna to go in and customize to set your pricing. The first one is assets. So I've put some default ones in here that work for my agency, a small page, a medium page, a large page, setting up their theme, a form, a modal, legal policies, a third-party integration, and content migration. I've included some short descriptions here so you can see what I mean by all these things, but what's important here is that you play with the pricing. So I've put some generic prices in here to get you started so you can see how everything works. What you're gonna to wanna to do is probably go through some different projects, mock some out and see how these prices affect, and then you can go in here and just change these prices to fit your needs. Next to the assets table is the copywriting table. So I have three different options in here, and this is what I use with my clients. Either the client provides me copy, and instead of a price, this works off of a multiplier. Uh, if the client provides copy, then the multiplier is zero. I'm not gonna charge any extra if they're providing me copy. The second option is collaboration. This is where uh, I work with my client uh, to work on the copy, but essentially they're writing the copy and I'm going back and editing it. So that's a multiplier of one. Or we can hire a professional copywriter and that's a multiplier of two. Again, you'll have to play with these numbers to see what makes sense for you. And you'll see how this all works when we go into the actual process, project estimator and try one of these out. The next tab is design. So again, similar to copywriting, either the client provides a design, well then I'm not charging for it. A templated design, so if we're working off a page that already exists on their website and just cloning the layout, or if we're actually using some kind of template that's available online, I just charge a 0.25 modifier on that, or a completely custom design. Then we have a tab for dynamic content. So we have no dynamic content, which doesn't cost any extra. Standard, which is usually something that would be done with a pre-built widget that's inside of your page builder, or some kind of custom dynamic content, which has a higher multiplier on it because it takes more time to work on. Lastly is a complexity multiplier. So what I found is that some projects are a lot more difficult than others inherently. So what we can do to account for that is have some kind of complexity rating. So in here we have a low, a medium, a high, or extreme. A low multiplier is zero. A medium is 50%. 
a high is 100% and an extreme is 175%. So now that you have kind of an idea of what all's in here, let's go take a look at how all this works. We'll look at this example here that's already set up and see how it works, and then we'll start from scratch. So in here, we're saying we have to set up the theme. The asset type is a theme setup, one quantity, and the complexity is low. In this example, we don't need to worry about design, copywriting, or dynamic content. And so through all this, this formula inside this field is doing all the calculations for us and giving us a price. Next, we have the home page. We're saying that's a medium-sized page. We need one quantity of it. It's a custom design. We're gonna collaboratively write the copy. It's gonna have standard dynamic content and the complexity is low. So the price of that is $640. And you can see it goes on and on. The prices are a little bit different depending on the size of the page, whether or not we're doing the design, who's doing the copywriting, and if it has dynamic content. So let's take a look at what this looks like if we just start from scratch. We'll delete all these out here. And so you can see kind of how all these totals work. So we'll say this home page is a medium page. So we'll search for medium and click that. And we need one quantity of them. Already, it's giving us a price of $200. That's based off this asset pricing for a medium page, which is $200. Now we're gonna to have to decide on the design. If the client provides a design, it's not gonna change the price because our multiplier inside of design for provided is zero. Of course, if we go in here and change this to Templated, it's gonna move that up by 25%. If we change this to custom, it's gonna double the price from 200 to 400. So we're charging 200 additional dollars to design a medium sized page. Copywriting works similarly. Client provides it, there's no additional charge. If it's collaboration, then we go up to 600 on this page. And if we hire a copywriter, this goes up to 800. Dynamic content, we can say no dynamic content, which doesn't change the price. We can say standard dynamic content, which goes up to 840. Or we could say custom dynamic content, which takes it up to 880. Now this complexity modifier is something that will change the price pretty drastically. So it's gonna default to being low if you don't select anything. So you could leave this blank if it was low, but I like to fill all these in. But you can see if we go in here now, delete out low and change this to medium, we've gone up to 1320. If we go in here and charge extreme complexity, it goes up to $2,420. So all of these things depend on each other. The complexity modifier is assuming everything inside of here is complex. The design, the copywriting, and the dynamic content. So what you're really gonna wanna do is take some of your past projects, put all the uh, line items that you were delivering in that project in here and fill everything out how you did it on the project and see what this price comes out to. Here at the bottom, this will show you the exact total of everything added together. So uh, for this project with just these two things, we're already at $3,000. Um, so you can go back and see the total for this project. Now, when you fill out some of your past projects, you might say, okay, well, this is saying I should have charged a lot more or I didn't charge uh, nearly, or I charged way too little. Um, you'll wanna go back and start adjusting all this pricing. So this is just a place to get you started. I fully expect you'll want to change every bit of pricing inside of here to meet your needs. So do spend some time going through some past projects and trying to dial in this estimator to fit with your pricing schedule so that you can use this in the future to help you provide some estimates on projects. If you have any questions, make sure to go ahead and drop them down in the comments and I'll be glad to answer those just as quickly as I can. And if you're only interested in the estimator base and really have no use for the other five, this has only been sold as a bundle in the past, but if there's a high demand for it, maybe I can figure out how to pull this one out of the bundle and sell it individually. Just let me know down in the comments below. We'll catch you guys on the next video.